Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact and the Breda APX Centurion. Both similar sized handguns. 3.6 inch barrel with the TP9 Elite Subcompact, 3.7 inch barrel with the APX Centurion. And you can see right there the slides look about the same. Different features however. Now I will mention 15 rounds with the Centurion. I currently have a 12 round mag, but Canik gives a 15 round mag in the case. So for all intents and purposes, same capacity. I didn't bring the 15 round mag though. But let's start with the Centurion. I already mentioned 3.7 inch barrel. Nice mags, okay? It does have uh, grip panels or, or grip modules, I should say. Bumps all throughout, we know that with the APX, it was really unique at first, now it's become kind of standard with the pistol. Six pound trigger pull, all right? Has the trigger bar safety in there, the reset right there. Uh, pick rail, all right? Big three dot sights, and a pretty nice package. Now you can pick this up right around 360, 380, and I was really happy to get it when I did. I felt like, you know, the Centurion was a, a nice pistol. I've always wanted another APX. I had the the smaller version, same uh, upper and everything, just a 12-round a mag, and I'm pretty happy to have the Centurion. I feel like it's a nice handgun. Last time I shot a little low, so I'm going to raise that front sight just a hair. Every, or I should say just about every handgun, hits a little differently and so I have to get it out there nice. And I have always enjoyed the APX models and I think the Centurion is a great handgun. The one thing I don't like is the disassemble. A bit difficult. The other one I had was easy. The full size I had was easy. This one, not so much, but it has a nice trigger pull, nice overall feel of the pistol. But now we have the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. This is very similar in size and weight and price. It does have a cock striker fire indicator there, serrated black rear sight, front dot, it is optic ready, comes with a holster and a whole host of other accessories in the case. Now I mentioned another accessory, 15 round mag. This is the 12 round mag, so I'll be shooting 12 rounds. I had a full 15 round mag loaded up. Forward serrations, a trigger that I am measuring right at four and a half pounds on this model. The, well, let me do that again. Right there, a very short reset, shorter reset on the Canik. Price right around the same, does have a loaded chamber indicator bar and all around a pretty nice package. Really like the Canic triggers, also has a two slot rail, very similar to the Centurion. The triggers on the Canics are, are pretty superior in many ways and I think most people on this channel would agree. 3.6 inch barrel, serrated tungsten gray slide. Let's take some shots here, center hold on the Canik. Thought. Have a white primer strike. I'm gonna check that out. I'll show you in just a minute. This is a Winchester 115 FMJ. I've never had an issue with any of my Canics. Outside of a lip wrist test with uh, midsize TP9 SF Elite. But anyways, they also have back straps and a nice, nice overall trigger. I really like to disassemble better with this. All you do is, uh, well, you pull the trigger first and then bring it back a little bit and then off comes the slide. I don't think I brought it back enough. Come on. Let me try that again. Just like that. Okay, three tries. But anyways, more and more 
handguns we're starting to see like that. So we've got the Centurion and we've got the Canik. Now I was gonna wait to make my choice because I never shot them side by side. So initially I was saying Canik all day long because I, I'm a fan of the trigger, most, most, uh, most of all. And I do like the choice that it is optic ready, but after shooting them side by side, I have to go with the Centurion. All right, and, and the nice overall feel. Now it does have three finger contact, so does this, but a little more here, but the feel was really nice. And it's just a little bit cheaper. Price is similar, just a little bit cheaper with the Centurion. If you want optic ready, then you can go with the Canning. But I wanna check out this. And that was struck with the TP90 Elite Subcompact. So not exactly sure what happened there. And we'll shoot it one more time. Hope this video is not being strung out too long. What I'm getting at actually, is I wanna know which one you would choose. Let's see how it does here. Yeah, there's something going on with that round. And I'm gonna leave it right there. Which one would you choose? Would you choose the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact or the Beretta APX Centurion. That's what I want to know. I made my choice. I'm going to Centurion at this point. Let me know what you think, and I'll really be interested to hear your thoughts. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.